Cahokia has an amazing story to tell. About 1,000 years ago, the ancient Mississippian people built their principal city here. A population of perhaps as many as 20,000 people, more than 100 mounds, a highly organized society. And all of this hundreds of years before Columbus came to the New World. Today, only some of the mounds remain, and it's difficult for visitors to grasp what Cahokia once was like. So with a major grant from the National Endowment for the Humanities, we set out to bring this historically important story to life through augmented reality. The project meant utilizing AR technology on an unprecedented scale. The Cahokia site is immense. Just the Grand Plaza in front of Monk's Mound is more than 40 acres, roughly 50 football fields. We set out to master this kind of space and scale, to place the mounds and features of the ancient site exactly where they should be and keep them anchored, and effectively blend the ancient world with the present day world in a content-rich AR experience. Our first task was to establish the exact location of the mounds and other historic features of the Cahokia site. To do that, we employed drone mapping. The drone takes several hundred photographs along a very precise grid, and then working with our 3D modeler through a process called photogrammetry, we were able to reconstruct the Cahokia site exactly as history has left it to us. Three tours are included in the NEH project. The first is Cahokia's Monk's Mound. For the augmented reality stops along the way, we've chosen object recognition to trigger the AR experience. When this image is scanned by a device that's running the Cahokia AR application, the experience begins. Feature point detection is used to place 3D content into the real world via augmented reality. Cahokia will be installing permanent image markers in the coming weeks, similar to the concrete markers already in use at the site. At each stop on the tour, there are knowledge points to allow viewers to further explore various aspects of the Mississippian story. For example, this knowledge point reveals one of the most important artifacts found at Cahokia, the Birdman Tablet. The Birdman Tablet was discovered in 1971. With narration guiding the way, the viewers are able to examine the tablet at their own pace in an interactive way. Of the various waypoints, perhaps none proves the case of large-scale AR better than the Grand Plaza, viewed from the top of Monk's Mound. The challenge is to recreate this vast area in a historically accurate way, while keeping the visitors' feet planted in the world of today, a hundred feet up on the grassy slopes of Monk's Mound. You can see the ancient world below holds solidly in place as the viewing device is moved. And here, a slider appears so the viewer can move back and forth between the world of today and the Mississippian's world of a thousand years ago. And here again, there are knowledge points that enable visitors to interactively explore additional story and humanity's content. This knowledge point, for example, brings up a short video about the Grand Plaza's imposing twin mounds. It seems likely that the twin mounds, Fox and Roundtop, were carefully situated. In addition to using tablets, we also optimize the AR experience for phones. As the tour continues, we encounter the massive temple that once stood on the fourth terrace the highest point of Monk's Mound. 
Again, as we move the viewing device, the other 3D models of the ancient world overlay the real world of today. The knowledge point here is the Mississippians' worldview, the Axis Mundi. The Axis Mundi connected three levels, the upper world, middle world, and lower world. Then, as the visitor enters the temple interior, we have the opportunity to show the detail of our 3D model creation. You are standing upon hallowed ground. Here in this sacred space, the Paramount Chief gathered his priests, the elders, and members of the elite to oversee and influence every aspect of Mississippian life. Our intention is to make you believably feel that you're inside this large temple space that was perhaps 100 feet long and 40 feet high, even though the structure and the ancient Mississippians who built it disappeared centuries ago. Touch the knowledge points to learn more about the chiefdom hierarchy and the temple's sacred fire. Our background is rooted deeply in storytelling. We've always emphasized the primary role of content and sought ways to convey that content in the most effective manner. Cahokia is the perfect example of what augmented reality can be, allowing viewers access to a world they could only imagine. But now it's here. Now they're experiencing the realm of the Mississippians and their great city of the sun firsthand as if they were actually there. And that's been the mission of the Cahokia Mounds Museum Society from the outset, to add tangible value to the visitor experience. That goal will continue to guide us as we go forward with the NEH project.